All right, guys, we got some new equipment, aquarium equipment, and you guys know I got tons of stuff going on, all kinds of tanks. They all need some form of equipment, including the wife's as well. As you guys know, this tank is actually in a cycling. I've been getting a lot of people asking me, when is the tank going to be cycled? I don't know. Those things just do their own thing. I have no clue. It could take a week. It could take days. It could take months. It just totally depends on what the tank's going to do. Uh, and that's it. You can't rest perfection. So along with the aquarium equipment that I'm getting ready to show you, um, these tanks are doing great. The wife's been bugging me about getting corals into her system. You guys have been wanting me to get corals into her system. I was starting to, I, I actually fragged up one piece the other day and I put it down because I said, you know what, let's ask the people and see what they want. I don't want to, you know, do something and stick it in the aquarium and then you guys miss me fragging, coral selection, stuff like that. So what do you guys think? Should I make a video of me actually um, grabbing corals out, fragging them? you know all that good stuff or just pick whatever you let her get whatever she wants out of here and then um doing a video on what she decided on i don't know you guys are here for that reason to help out to help us decide on what's next what we need to do and i want to keep you guys fully involved so let me know on that we got boxes we got two boxes all right, guys, let me get you guys on the tripod. Let's get to it. We're not going to get to one. We're going to just get to that one right there. So this one's going to be for lead day. No, I'm not showing you guys yet what's in that. Stop asking. Stop asking. This one, I'll show you. All right, let me get you set up on the tripod. Let's check it out. I think the wife's going to like it. I actually think some of you guys are going to like it. I know, I know, I know. You guys are looking at this this stand here and like, Rico, where's the tanks? Well, I sold the tanks. Uh, I'll get into that at another video, but I know you guys are wondering. The lights are gone, tanks are gone. I got rid of the tanks, guys. Um, got some other stuff going on. Like I said, I'll share with you at a later date. You guys really want to see this or what? Of course you guys do. All right, guys. Ah, the Aquamai, man. People, when I was doing a live stream, I think it, I want to say it was in uh, California, Palooza. People are like, check this out, Rico, check this out. Um, a lot of you guys, I believe, suggested this for the wife's aquarium. Um... I actually seen it and I thought it was a pretty neat little thotty little guy. Um, and we're gonna see how well it actually works out. We have to go upstairs, we're gonna have to install, uninstall the other pump that I put in, the wife's not really feeling, and put this bad boy in and check it out. So first, let's unbox this. Oh my. So it's got a little hook, you hang this up. This must be the Wi-Fi controller. Honestly, on first look, it looks pretty slick and sleek. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Looks pretty good to me. Um, and, and the feel of it, it looks really nice. Feels really nice. It has a really great feel to it, guys. Okay, so. We do have some paperwork here, um, the high door group, for you guys that don't know. Um, you can check this out on their website as well. Um, HighDoorUSA.office at HighDoor.com. We have that, and then we also have, okay, a list of things that, we, that it comes with. Okay, power supply, obviously the pump. Um, B, I think it's for the Wi-Fi, stuff like that. And, okay, so you can go to your app store and actually download 
to control this. Now, I will be setting this up, and this video might be a little long, but hey, why not do it all in one shot? Give you guys a better idea of what this pump is actually capable of doing. It has a little cue card scanner here, so you can just take your phone, scan that, which I will do um, on this uh, to get it in so we can um, do the video. I would need another phone actually to do that, so maybe I'll get the wife. So that's all that, guys. Don't want to drag this video out too long. Um, you get the uh, uh, wire protection and uh, stick the uh, for the glass for the wire management. And wow, hey, this is a little thing, but this uh, and look. You can move this pump in any direction you want. Any direction. Um, it does have some weight. It does feel like it's definitely built well, I must say. Um, I love the magnet aspect, okay? So, and it's all rubber. Like, this is all, you know, rubber. Um as well so internal external they got a little spacer here because obviously the magnets the magnets look like they're well insulated um, just looking at it visually looking at it that is a good thing even though some things are made to be in water they say I trust nothing um, I've seen good things um, still corrode and stuff you know salt water is really good at that so um, yeah that is really nice. The pump itself, really nice feel. Don't know if you take it apart to clean it. How does that come apart? I have to look at it and check it out. Um, don't want to break it, but uh, yeah. Everything in here, uh, this feels really, really nice. And I'm not just saying it, guys. You already know me. Um, first impressions, though, of this, really nice. Even at the show when I seen it. And I just, I just, look, I just like that. Look, you want it, you know, facing like on the wall that way. Look at that. Straight, other side, up, down, whatever you want. So we have that as well. We have a power cord here. And it looks like a brick bar here. Yep. And that's it. So this is a nice little tiny brick bar to go with a nice tiny little pump. This pump, though, obviously seems like it does pack a punch. Uh, you know, the, the old saying is dynamite comes in small packages. So I do believe that this pump is going to do good. But hey, let's get it on the aquarium and check it out and let the pump speak for, speak for itself. All right, guys, I got the unit installed the Aquamai, the uh, KPM installed. Right now, I have to take out the old pump. The wife is obviously not that big of a fan of the uh, RP pump from Reef Breeder. She's really not a fan. It is quite big, you know, a little bit bigger in this system. And this one's actually really nice and sleek and small, compact. She can tuck it off to the side in the back, create some stuff. We'll get into that. It took me a little bit of a uh, playing with the getting it connected to the home network. Um, and I didn't want to take up a lot of time with uh, recording that process. Uh, it just took me, you know, I'm not that great with uh, computers, but it was actually quite simple. So let, let's get this installed right quick. We have unplugged. We got tons of wires. We do have to figure out some wire management um, on this system, that's for sure. Let's get something to get this in. Get this cleaned up. I got I got something for this. Actually, I'll I'll put it and use it somewhere else at a later date. I have some other things in store for you guys. So I actually have to tune this in or find a new protein skimmer. We're really not digging this protein skimmer at all. 
Alright guys, now I done moved you guys closer to the aquarium. As you can see, the pump there is off. By the ease of this app on your phone, you can do whatever you want. You don't have to have a controller. Um, your phone is a controller. As you have seen, just move the, from 0 to 100%. I must say, honestly, that this thing is awesome there's all kinds of presettings already in there everything you know as far as wave right now that we're on you can set a max and a minimum flow as well it's really cool you're all the way down to 250 milliseconds to up to two and a half seconds you know in between you know what it needs to do as you guys gonna see here if you watch the the water line watch it start to kick up bam there it goes as you guys can see I must say overall I'm really impressed with this light I didn't have the opportunity obviously at the show they show you a demo but it's different than actually having it in your hand to be able to go through um, the different things obviously we're you know I'm still learning it um, this is the very first time I've ever had it and I don't want to go through things when I get new products or something like that I, I, I'm, I want to open them up and play with them immediately just like anybody else would and figure it out I don't want to you know kind of already know all this and that about it because that's not how this hobby works um, hands down uh, this little pump is really packing a punch this little pump has several different things it can do it has tons of presets as you can see um, actually I'm you know looking for the preset of this controller here and I don't need that that's you know network settings or anything um, I need this the uh, back reef lagoon on this aquarium to show you everything that it has to offer it's got fresh fresh uh, planted aquariums they have back lagoon different kinds of setting fresh planted aquariums again we have LPS salty corals fish only SPS like three different kinds of settings uh, tons and tons and tons of stuff guys there's so much to go over I really don't want to drag this video that long but as you guys can see there's different things that you can do with this pump here so you can break it up throughout the day there all those things have presettings for that so hope you guys appreciate this review on this pump obviously we still have to use it long term and you know see how it's going to stand up to long term you know and once again guys anything that has moving parts obviously will fail at some point but the initial out the gate it in the aquarium everything looks fantastic it doesn't feel like doesn't feel like it's built cheap uh, it has a very nice feel to it so hopefully that means something for some of you guys that are out there that really plan on picking up this pump it was you guys um, telling me on the live stream while I was at the show to get this pump in the first place and I love it so far all right guys make sure you guys leave a comment for her what do you guys think if you guys um, have the opportunity to check one of these out the show or something like that let, let her know down in the comment down below also um, we also need to know if you guys want us to record uh, me fragging up some corals to get them put in this system I kind of need to know kind of pretty fast actually guys um, and girls uh, let me know. Uh, I was just going to cut them and hurry up and bring them up. Then shoot the tank with all the corals in it so you guys can see it. But for some of you guys might want to actually see me maybe glue some pieces, frag some pieces, cut some euphilia, LPS, and stuff like that to get them up here in the tank. So if you'd like to see that, leave it down in the comment section down below. And with that being said, stay tuned for the next one, guys.